Hey everyone, how you doing? Blue here, back with part 8 of our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. So, before we get started, how are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are keeping busy and enjoying the series so far. Now, I just want to quickly apologise as well for this video being one day late. It was my birthday the other day and although I couldn't really do much because of lockdown and being stuck indoors, um, I just took a day out just to chill out for the day, so I kind of got a little bit behind on recording. However, things are back to normal now, so you can expect a castle tutorial every other day as usual. But with that being said, guys, we're going to dive straight in because we have got a bunch of work to get done in today's video. Okay, before we jump in with today's tutorial, guys, just a couple of things I missed in last episode. So first of all, where the stables are here, just come up this little stairway here and we miss this little dark oak slab running across the edge here, just to finish up the, um, the little overhang here. So go ahead and get that in. Then if you follow around to the right hand side at the back of the building here, you can see we've got this gap inside here. Uh, we did go ahead and fill this side here, but I forgot to do this one. So what we're going to do is put an upside down stair just in there against that spruce, uh, strip spruce pillar. Then we're going to go ahead and put stripped spruce logs all the way up to the top there. Bring it all the way down. Grab yourself your spruce slab. Put it on the top half of the stair there. And then go ahead and put your spruce fence all the way up to that little corner there. Okay. Now, other than that, guys, the only one other thing I'd suggest doing is coming over to the blacksmith that we worked on in last episode. And just add a couple of... Like double trap doors like this for little shutters on the windows on this side and then also on the other side around here. Okay, just a quick note before we get started guys. As you can see, I have placed a few cobblestones into the pathway. I just done this because the pathway looked a little bit too clean and this was just to help kind of make it look a little bit more roughed up, a little bit more fitting. Um, so as you can see, there's just a few cobblestone, not very many. If you guys want to do this, uh, go ahead and just place in a few cobblestone in the ground. But otherwise, guys, you can just go ahead and make the stone textures here for the ground. Any ones you want. There's so many different options. Just use something that you're happy with. Now, with that being said, we're going to start working over here on the building just opposite the blacksmith that we worked on on last episode. So... To start this one guys, we've already got this wall that we placed across here in last episode. And we want to make sure we've got a 9 block gap between this wall and the one on the other side. So let's just quickly count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and then we're going to put a stone here and then break these 9 blocks in the gap. From this block here, we want to run our wall parallel with the one over there. But just bring it all the way across for now and join up to that wall. And then this one here, we're going to bring it all the way over and join it up to this wall here. Just so we have something like this. Now for the corner here, let's bring this all the way up until we are in line with this upside down stair here, which is directly on the floor level. Okay, and then we can go ahead and just fill these two in all the way up. Just like so. And then what we quickly do is get an upside down stair and we put one just in there for the moment. And then we can put our cobblestone wall in there as well. Now back to our stone blocks here. We're going to bring this one all the way across. Now as we come across to this one here, we should have a one, two, three, four, five block gap. Uh, but we might, we might bring it in one closer. I'm not sure yet, okay? We'll just leave it there. So we've got a five block gap for the moment on the spruce planks. We'll leave that as it is for the moment. And then we're going to come down here, grab our stone again. We're going to bring it all the way up here. And then from this one here, we're going to bring this all the way over to the opposite side. But we are going to have to stop when we're in line with that one for the moment, okay? So let's just stop right there and we'll join it up down here as well. And then I think what we're going to do is go ahead and fill all of this bit of the wall in and all of this bit of the wall in. For now, I'm going to go ahead and just fill it in with stone, but it can be textured later on or you guys can texture it along the way, whichever you find easier. Okay, and we're just going to bring that all the way up and just fill this section and this section. 
Okay, once your walls are all in place, let's head around this side here. And we're going to just break these five blocks here. Place one here, and then we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Join up to this one. This one here, we're going to bring one down. And from that one down, we're going to join underneath just here like this. And then just fill this little section here of the wall. Once you've got that all in place, go ahead and get yourself the spruce planks. And we're just going to go ahead and just finish this all the way across to here. Okay, so we're in line with the wall. Okay, guys, what I think we're going to do here is because this section here, I think, is going to really bug me and probably really bug a lot of people because we've only got the two block gap here. So what we're going to do, let's break this block here, put a stair there, break this section here break this little row of walls here i do apologize guys for having to break this but i know this is gonna bug a lot of people including myself then we're gonna get our polished andesite let's bring that up here so that we have our free block gap okay then behind here we're gonna put one strip of our stone all the way up till we are one block below the floor level and then we're gonna bring the floor the uh, wall rather up in this corner just here like that and then we just put another one of those there now what we're gonna do is you can take to this wall up a little bit later if you want to for now we're gonna put another polished andesite there let's break that one bring these two here and then we put one there turn those into grass let's make that a stone and what we do is we bring that one over there okay so it's two, one, and then we'll end up with seven, I believe. Yep, seven here. Okay, just to even that wall, because I know it's going to bug everybody that we've got a three block pattern all the way around, and then we've got this one here that just would have been out of place. So go ahead and do that just to even things out a little bit. Okay, now we've got that all in place. Let's go ahead and start working on the upper part of this build. So first of all, right on this top polished andesite here, right next to the stairs, we're going to go one, two, three of our stripped oak logs. Put one on top, break the one underneath and make sure that it faces downwards like this. Put two of your spruce planks here, one underneath and then an upside down stair underneath all three of them like this. Now from this top stair here, we're going to leave a three block gap, place another one here. Leave another three block gap, one here, a three block gap and one here. Then right in the middle of those gaps, we're going to put an upside down stair like this on the one above. Okay. And then we're going to put slabs at each side of those stairs that are on the higher level. And then one in this corner here. This spruce logs here, you can see we already have two. We're going to go three, four, five, six. And then we're going to head over to this corner here. Where this stair is, we're going to count one, two, three, and there's going to be a one here because we want high here we're going to go one two three four five okay then we're going to go ahead break these here and this one here just for the moment in fact we don't need to break the polish and the site that can stay as it is um and then what we're gonna do is this one here we're gonna bring it up by four so it's one block lower than this one this one here is going to come up to five so it'd be level with that one and then we're going to go five and five so that it's like this. And then in the centers of these bits here, just bring these up so they are level with these ones. So you should be adding four. Just like that. And then we should be able to connect this all the way across and join to this side here. Okay. So this one is six. The one in the center here is four because we're on that one highest there. This one here is five because we are on the lower stair and then we just connect them all the way across the top. Okay, and just repeat that pattern all the way across. Now, once you've got that in place, get your smooth sandstone and in those gaps, we're just gonna fill in the smooth sandstone all the way to the top like this, okay? And just do that all the way across. Just like so. Now, once you've got that all in place, we're going to start working on this side here and connecting it over. So what we do, break the polish and the side block behind here. And we're going to extend it all the way across. 
join to this wall here then we're going to break it go one two one on top break the one underneath and then point it downwards like this and then inside the gap here we're just going to go ahead and fill this with the spruce planks underneath here we're going to put a upside down stair then we're going to do the same as we've done on the other side so leave a three block gap one here three block gap one here three block gap and then a three block gap taking us to this one here in the middle of those we want to put an upside down stair on the higher level on the one block above like this with a slab at each side all the way to there here we're going to go one two three four five six of our strip spruce logs in the gaps we're going to go five making sure it's one lower so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five sorry guys the count's a bit off because it's not placing and then from here we already have two three four five six so it'll be one higher in the middle here one two three four in the middle here four same here and same here then we're just going to join that log all the way across to this side here and of course fill in the gaps with your smooth sandstone okay once that's done on this side here we're going to go ahead to the very top here we're going to extend our strip spruce log all the way across to the other side we're going to put a beam all the way up here and leave a, in, that's leaving a one block gap leave another one block gap and bring another one up here repeat the same thing on this side here so bring one up here one up here and then that should leave you a three block gap in the middle Get your smooth sandstone we're gonna put four of them in here the same in here leave that three block gap for a minute then bring one up here and also up here and we're gonna just change that for a full block for the moment of the strip spruce just for now at least okay that's looking good now get your um i'll tell you what before we do anything let's go ahead at this floor level we can break that one there from here we're going to just fill the floor level across here okay all the way across to this side fill this bit in all the way across here and just fill it all up at this level okay and you will be left with this side here with some stone and this side here with some stone as well but we'll work out what to do with that a little bit later on okay if you're playing the survival don't forget to light up the area underneath and then we're going to come over here we're going to break these three logs just here and replace those with some normal planks. And on the inside, we're going to create a frame of sandstone. So let's bring four up this side, four up this side, one in the center. And if we go around the other side and come down here, we can just quickly go ahead and get ourselves a smooth sandstone stair and just place that underneath in the center for the doorway. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to quickly place an upside down stair here, one here. Then on this first pillar here of the smooth sandstone, I'm going to put one there and one there. Okay, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. Over this side here for the moment, I'm going to get my smooth sandstone and I'm literally just going to bring it all the way across, joining it to this wall like this. And I'm just going to raise it until it's the same height as the walls in front. Just like this. And then on the very top here, we want to bring the pillar all the way across like so. Okay. And then we're going to just stop there for that bit for now. Now down the side here, I'm going to grab my spruce planks and I'm going to place one on this corner here. Then where this pillar is, I'm going to skip to the next pillar, leaving a three block gap, do one there, three block gap, one here, three block gap, three block gap. Okay. Then underneath, we're going to go ahead and put in a upside down spruce stair. Put an upside down spruce stair facing towards each other like this on both sides. Do that in all of these gaps. Then on the front of this block here, we're going to put an upside down stair facing outwards like this. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to get our stripped spruce log again. 
And we're going to place, well, we're going to break that one there and that one there for the moment. And we're going to bring it out like so, okay? Because this is on the corner, we're going to actually put an upside down stair there as well. And then from that one there, which is not none of those stairs, we're going to go one on there of our strip spruce log. And then two, three, four, five. Go across to this middle one here, bring that up to the same height. This one here to the same height. This one here, and then this one here. And don't forget, because we're on this side, we're on the corner, let's do the same as we've done on the other side and put a stair just there. Now, we're going to go to the very top and just connect them together with the stripped spruce logs again, like this, all the way across. And then where the upside down stair is, we're going to place three across the bottom, bring it up the side, one like there, and then bring this side up as well. So we have a window in the middle that is two blocks. Let's do that in all these gaps. Okay, once that's all in place, we're going to go around and we're going to repeat exactly what we've done there on this side. Okay, so we're going to start with our, our spruce planks and we're going to place it on sort of uh, every sort of three block gap. So start from the corner, leave a three block gap, one here, three block gap, all the way across like so. Put your upside down stairs on all sort of four, uh, three sides and then underneath. Do the same again on here. Make sure you're facing into the block and then upside down right there, okay? So let's just do that all the way across. Once we get to here, let's go ahead and raise our pillars again. But we're going to just bring this one across and this one across and then bring it up. So it is five blocks high from this one here. One, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. And then we can join the centers, okay? So let's do that all the way across. And then same on this corner, guys. Let's just go ahead and turn that one in there and that one in there so that we have a beam going all the way across. Right, okay, that's looking good. Back round to the side here again. And we're going to start with our window frames again using the smooth sandstone. Now, if any of you guys don't like the smooth sandstone, there's many other blocks that you can use, um, whether you want to be bone block or if you've got um, maybe a white wall or something else, maybe terracotta, maybe you want to change the colors up. Um, and again, you don't have to stick with the stripped spruce either. You could use the stripped dark oak or, you know, use a normal log, you know, the spruce logs. You know, you can change it up if you want to make different colors to blend in with the area you're building in. Or if you just want to change the style to look a little bit different, go ahead and make it your own, guys. So don't be afraid to mix up some of the blocks, change some of the things that I've done just to make it a bit more your own. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get out stripped logs again. And across this side, we're going to go ahead and join the pillar all the way across until we get to here. Now, where we place these little, these little stairs that stick out, we're going to bring a log all the way up to the pillar. Let's bring it all the way up to the pillar like this. And then we're going to get ourselves um, a stair again. Place one here, one here. In the gap going across here, we're going to put some planks all the way across. And then we're just going to go ahead and put in our upside down stairs all the way across like so. Okay, to create a little bit of a balcony. Now we can run our um, spruce fence all the way across as well, just to make a nice little landing. Because this bit comes out here, we're going to just make like a little bit that protrudes. So let's connect these two up like uh, these two pillars up like this. So there should be five of these stripped logs in between and then an upside to down stair at each side. Then going behind here, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to fill in a wall, basically all the way across like this. OK, from one side to the other. Once your wall's in place, let's go ahead and break these two here for a door right in the middle. And then we're going to break a two window here and a two window just there like that. And while we're here, let's grab that upside down stair and we'll put one of those just in there as well. Okay, just to create that nice little area. 
Now for the moment what we're going to do over this side is we're just going to put one flat wall all the way across for the moment and we'll work out what we're going to build on this side a little bit later on. Again when you get to the top of the wall here guys be sure to go ahead and put your pillar all the way across like this to separate some of the wall up and to divide, and to divide up some of the colours and stuff we'll do that a little bit later on but for now We've got our box shape in place and I think it's time to start working on the roof. Okay, now the roof is actually pretty simple here. It's very much the same pattern that we've followed through most of this build. So if we start on this corner here, we're going to just place a temporary block here and here. Okay, so we're overhanging that edge by one. We want to go one more. Okay, so we're one block in front of that bit that sticks out over there. And then break these two here for now. Behind it, we want to put an upside down stair then a normal stair upside down stair just like we've done through most of our builds and we're going to repeat this all the way until we get to one block from the center so here's the center where that door is we will do it till we reach this block here but obviously higher up so let's just keep doing that pan all the way up once you get to the center here make sure you put in an upside down stair there on top, you want a normal stair and an upside down stair sticking out, okay? And as you can see, that's right in the center here. Let's repeat it on this side. So remember, stair here, stair here, and a third one. Break these two, and then we work from this one all the way up to the center point. Okay, once you're done, we're going to get our dark oak slabs and on the corners here, place one here and one over, one here, one over. Then we're just going to extend all the way down to the other end and then overhang it by one. Same on this side here, let's bring it all the way down and then overhang that last edge by one block. Okay, now I'm gonna make this side very similar actually to what we have over here, okay? So we're gonna do something very similar. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna overhang by one more block there and then go under, okay? So overhang one more and then under. And then from here, we're gonna repeat the same roof pattern as we've got over there, okay? So just stair, upside down stair, all the way to the middle on both sides. Okay, once you got that in place, upside down stair in the center, a normal one on top, and the upside down one facing outwards. Now from this point here is pretty straightforward. We're literally just gonna connect our spruce stairs in the gap, making sure it's not the dark oak this time, and run it all the way across from one side to the other and join to this side. And again, from this stair, do the same thing and just repeat the process all the way up to the top stair here. Once you get to the top stair here, start from this stair, work your way down or work from the bottom up to this top here. And then we'll do the centre part once we get there. So we should have a one block gap in the centre at the very top. So let's go ahead and get this all in place now. Okay, once you're done, let's head up to the top of the roof here. And we're just going to go ahead and put some spruce planks all the way through the centre. And then on top, we're going to go ahead and place our dark oak slabs. Just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in the gaps on the uh, roof points here. So what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four on this side. So connect that pillar all the way to the roof. Connect this one also to the roof. Then we want one here, one here. And again, connecting both of those up to the roof like this. Perfect. Then we're going to get our smooth sandstone and then just fill in the gaps here. Fill this gap here and this one here. Just like so. And then I think for this side here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our smooth sandstone just there. One in that corner there and then bring a pillar down from this one here like that. And then put your upside down spruce stairs 
in those gaps there okay just like that and then we're going to do the same over here so we use the sandstone then our um, stripped logs and upside down stairs all the way up to the top just like so and i think that looks pretty good guys i'm actually pretty happy with that it looks like it's all shaped up the way we want it now what we're going to do is get our um, spruce fences and starting from this corner here we're going to raise this one up all the way to here in fact that bottom stair there we're going to break that one and use that as our connection for the uh, fence here then underneath here we're going to bring these ones all the way up right in front of these pillars only okay on top of that upside down stair just take it all the way up to the roof just like that this side here we might as well for now just go ahead and bring that one in place as well and then we're going to head over to this side do that and then come around this side and do exactly the same okay Okay, now before we do anything else guys, let's go ahead and do the back of the build around here. I want to go ahead and make sort of something very similar to what we have on the other side. So this one, we're going to actually start from down at the center here. So find the center point of the roof, come all the way down to the bottom here. This is the center point. So we're going to go to this one here and this one here. Okay, which gives us a five block gap in the center. And then we should have two blocks here and two blocks here. Take these all the way up to the roof. Okay, all the way up to the roof. Just like so. We're going to put in a beam across this one. And then in the center here, we want to bring a beam down on every other block. Just like we've done on the other side. Like this. And then inside here, we're just going to put one in there like that. One in there. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and just fill in the gaps with the smooth sandstone. Underneath here, we're going to put upside down stair, upside down stair. And then underneath these ones, we're going to put some upside down stairs. Just making sure we miss that corner there because that's where we've got that, um, that fence connected. So just like that. Okay, and for this one, I'm not sure how high. We're going to have like a little sheltered um, covering that comes all the way down this side here. And I'm not sure how high it's going to sit against this. So for now, I'm not going to put no windows or anything like that on here. Okay, we'll work that all out a little bit later on. So we're going to just leave this, this side like that blank as it is. And then down this side here, we're going to add in just a few details. So first of all, let's get some glass panes. And we're going to go ahead and first of all, on all of our windows, let's go ahead and just put in our glass panes, okay? So all the way down this side here in these two windows and then all the way down the other side as well. Once you've got that in place, we're going to go ahead just underneath the window and put in a spruce slab just as a little window ledge. And then once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and put in two spruce trapdoors as a little kind of shutter. We'll put one there, one there. And then I think if we do this side, first of all, I think I'm going to put them on this side. Okay, so to the right hand side. Just like that, all the way down. And then on this side, I think I'm going to put them on the left hand side so that they are the same as... Same side as the other side um, in line, basically. Just like that. Now, heading down each side, we're going to just go down a little bit. And as you can see, underneath the gaps here, we've got that little gap. We're going to go ahead and put in a spruce trap door in all those gaps. And then repeat it around on this side as well. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and grab yourself two things. You want to get yourself some spruce doors and you want to get yourself some of your lanterns. And for this one, guys, just really quickly, we're just going to put a lantern this side, this side and up there. And then from the inside, we're going to go ahead and put a 
Um, actually, we'll break that one there and put in a spruce plank. And then on top of that spruce plank, we're going to do that. And then down below here, boom, we're going to put one in there as well. Now, obviously, we're going to have another flooring in there. So if you wanted to, it's entirely up to you. You can come in here now. And first of all, probably put a lantern just underneath there. Inside here, it is a little bit dark. I will say that, guys. So go ahead, put some torches up in here. And then where this beam is across here, you want to fill your floor level in at this height, okay? So just go ahead, fill in all of your floor height at this level. Okay, now, I just remembered that I did actually do something different around this side here, guys. Because we're going to have the little archery range down here. So I thought it would be pretty good if this little, um, this little building here had a small balcony. Now, you can go ahead and leave this as it is if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to show you what I've done anyway. So first of all, get your smooth sandstone. Break the pillars in the middle of these sections here. So as you can see, we've got the lower, the lower walls here. Uh, lower pillars here and here these stay and right in the middle you want to break the spruce and then just put a block on top like this this one here we're going to actually just break the whole center section of three just like that and leave that for the moment over to this one we're going to go ahead and do the same that we've done on that end to make a window this one here make a window okay now this bit here is going to be a balcony so to make this one into a balcony, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a stair here and a stair here for the moment. And in fact, no, it wasn't like that. We broke these ones. We put four blocks across here. Then underneath here, I broke these two and I bring it down by one block. Put in a stair here, a stair here, a stair in front like this. And then I put another row of the four blocks with a row of stairs like this and then in the middle here i put two like that then a full block there and stairs upside down like this okay to create a bit of a balcony and if you wanted to just so it doesn't look so big you could do that it doesn't particularly matter now once you go down place get your fences and this is the balcony area right across here okay that's the balcony area then, if we head up to the top here, we're going to put in an upside down stair facing inwards to that edge and one facing into that edge. OK, so we get a little sort of double sort of shape. And then on the inside here, we're just going to make a doorway. So just bring it up all the way to the ceiling on that stone edge there. Replace the one in the middle with a four block, put sandstone there. And then I guess we can grab the upside down stair from over here. Place that in there. And then get our spruce door and place that in here. Just like so. And then on here, I'd go ahead and put in a lantern on each side like this. Then you want to get your glass panes, put them in the windows. So one here, one here, and one there. Then I don't think we're going to use slabs here, but we might get the spruce trapdoors. Because we're going to put some like uh, bushes hanging down here, um, like leaves. So just place some randomly across here. So like two, we'll put one there, maybe two there. And maybe just like one on one or something like that. Because we're going to drape them down between it. So we're going to make it look nice. So I think that would be good for that side. At the very top here, right above these windows, don't forget to put in a lantern. Do that on this side. And then we'll go around this side here and do the same. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. Now, on the inside here, we're going to go ahead and extend our walls. So we're going to start with the polished andesite. And starting from this corner here, so right where the building is, come over to the tower on this corner. And we want to put right into this corner here, some polished andesite all the way up to the top. Okay. Leave a three block gap. Do the same thing again here. Leave another three block gap and do the same here like this and that should leave us three blocks down this corner here where we got this little section here this is the underneath of the castle we're going to go ahead and we're just going to fill that with stone just go one block past just so we can make it a little bit thicker 
just in there and just fill that with your stone for the moment you can texture it later on or whenever you please okay any of the walls you see me building in stone we will be texturing at some point so if you just realize all of a sudden that i've textured a load of walls of stone that's why okay because i do some of that off camera because doing it all on camera just takes a lot of time and uh, it takes a lot of time in the um in the tutorial for me to do it and show it so i try to do it off camera but i do try my best to let you know if i do forget to say anything guys i am sorry um but yeah any of the walls that we build in one episode in stone so that one around that side this one around this side and this little piece in here I will go ahead and texture them all off camera, okay? So be sure that any stone walls you put in, make sure you go ahead and texture them up yourselves as well. Now down the bottom here, guys, it's also up to you if you want to put some shutters on these windows. I didn't on my castle. I left these ones just open as they were, but it's up to you if you want to put shutters on those as well. Okay, now for the rest of this wall is going to be pretty much the same pan as we have on this side here. Okay, so we're going to be using these um, upside down stairs. We're going to use our slabs, um, maybe even some metal trap doors. Okay, so starting with the same pattern, guys, just put in a upside down stair above that pillar and that pillar. One in the middle, two full blocks on top of those. Upside down stairs against the um, the planks behind. And then I guess we need the cobblestone wall as well. Place that in those gaps. And then I'm going to just jump over to the next section here first of all. So let's just continue the pattern all the way over to here. Then we're going to have a stair, stair, stair and stair. Four blocks in these gaps like this. And I think this one here. Yeah, we'll leave that as that is. That's fine. And then we're just going to go ahead and put in our walls across these ones. Now where the slab is on the other side there, I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to just follow the pattern, okay? So every other block across, just like this. And like I said, guys, just make sure you go ahead and you just texture up any of your stone walls, okay? So just go ahead, dot them all in as you please. And there's no particular way of doing it. And you can texture them as you please. You haven't got to use the same textures that I've used. If you really don't like the way I've textured it and you want to see it looking more like stone brick or more like cobblestone, go ahead and do that, guys. It really doesn't matter. It's important that you make the build your own. You want it to be your own kind of style. So if my, my sort of texturing and stuff isn't to your liking, be sure to change it up as you please. Okay, I think that's most of the section in place over here for the moment. Now, for this bit of the wall down here, we are going to have a walkway coming all the way down and joining up over this corner here. So I think what we're going to quickly do is, first of all, I nearly did forget, guys. I do apologize. Upside down stairs underneath here. Do apologize about that, guys. I nearly forgot. Now, over on this side here, let's start by getting in the um, planks here, okay? So let's just extend it by two. We should have three across here already. So let's go two, 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 and two. Like this, making it five. Same for this next strip. Make it five. 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 All the way until we get to the corner. Okay, all the way across to there. So for here, it's going to basically repeat the same thing. So right on this corner here, okay, because the corner is going to be one of the pillars, bring that all the way down to the ground. Just like that. Then you'd leave a three block gap, which is going to go to this wall here. So we're going to just leave that as it is. Then we're going to put one in here. Joining it up here. Leave a three block gap. This should take us to the corner piece, which it does. One block back, we're going to do the one in here. Leave a three block gap, which will take us to our corner. Then we go in one. Okay, so you can see we're repeating that pan all the way across. Let's just do that all the way across till we get to that side for the moment. Once 
once you get to this side guys you're gonna see that you come to this point here okay we're gonna have a three block gap and then the wall here um at this point here you can either leave the wall as it is or you can just break these ones down here and put in the andesite if you want it to look like it finishes to the wall there it's entirely up to you how you want to do it then across the tops here we're going to go ahead and just put in a strip of the polished andesite again just like so then behind the walls here so right here just want to put in your stone fill this in okay this is going to be one block behind all of your andesite okay so the andesite is going to stand out by a block just like that okay and just repeat that all the way across so you just want to go behind here like this you can even leave that one there if you're playing survival make sure you light up the areas behind there with some torches um, and then just go ahead and fill these sections up here or you can just fill the whole gap in with stone it's entirely up to you you can just fill the whole section in behind so mobs can't spawn okay so let's just go ahead get all of our stone in place and again guys if you want to texture at the same time you can or if you want to come back and texture it later it is entirely up to you guys okay once your walls are all in place we're gonna go ahead for now put an upside down stair at each side underneath these little pieces like this go all the way across just like this then of course don't forget you're going to put in your stairs like this every other block and then two on the ones in between above so just do the same thing again like that all the way across in the corner here of course you can't get right in so put the upside down stair in there and that one there and then of course continue inside your gaps above with the upside down stair like this where the lower stair is, you just want to go ahead and put two blocks of your polished andesite. Then you're going to go ahead and put in your cobblestone wall in the gaps. And then finally, your polished andesite slab starting from the right hand side here. We're just going to line it up with the other side. So in that one and then just every other block following it across. Okay, now that that wall is all in place, guys, there honestly isn't too much more work to do on the outside. There is a whole bunch of work to do on the inside. There's going to be so much work going into all of that. But all we've really got left is the little shelter that runs down the side of the building here. And then the little house, which is like this over here. Okay, but it's going to be set back over here into this corner. And it's probably going to come across to about here somewhere. Um, and it will join up into this little corner connecting to this part of the castle. There's going to be a stairway coming down joining into this tower here. Then we're going to put the little archery range here. So we'll probably get that. That will probably be all finished up in next episode. Um, and then I guess the last bit of the details on the outside are going to be things like the trees and flower pots and things like that. So while we're out here, I'm going to quickly grab myself some grass. And we're going to just shape some of the land down here, okay, just to make this a bit more even. So, first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start filling in the ground here, okay, right at this level here. Let's bring this one all the way across to here. And then we can just kind of, um, I suppose, let's just do half of this. So, where that first slab one goes from there, we're going to bring that all the way across to here. And then we're just going to fill this side here with grass now you don't have to fill it all with grass if you don't have grass you can fill most of it with dirt just make sure you have a few grass blocks in there so that the um so that the grass can grow over the dirt okay if you don't have no grass in there it won't grow over so let's just fill this bit okay now we've got that all in place i'm gonna go ahead and throw in just a few torches down here so that we don't get mobs spawn underneath the grass here okay let's do something like that okay and then we're going to start taking this up a little bit so first of all we're going to go in a little bit further so where we've finished this line up which is right where that first slab is from the outside over here we're going to fill this two here then we're going to fill to that gap there and we're going to go one two bring it over 
Let's break that torch there for a minute. And then we're just going to diagonally bring it over like this. So from that corner there, we're going to go two up, one, two up, one, and then two again. Okay. Now this don't have to be perfect, guys. This can actually be just a very similar pattern for the grass. All this is going to do is just make the uh, section here just kind of slope up towards the uh, wall here. That's all we want to do. We're just sloping it up just to make it look a little bit more interesting rather than leaving it all flat. But by all means, if you guys wanted to go ahead and make it all flat down here, fill the grass in, make it flat, bring that wall all the way down to the ground and you're done. Okay, now at this point here, I think what I'm going to do is go one there, one there, and then I'm going to just kind of um, follow the line that we already have, just all the way. And then once I get to here, so we're just a few along, I'm just going to start bringing it over a little bit more so that we go into this gap here. And then again, from here, we're going to just go ahead, just fill in this layer here, all the way across. So once you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit kind of like that. You know, but like I said, guys, you haven't got to, you haven't got to keep to the pattern. If you want to sort of change it up or bring it over a bit more, go ahead and switch it up a little bit to your liking. Just extend it out. You know, there's no particular pattern here. All we're trying to do is create a little nice area to kind of decorate for the god, like a little garden area at the front of the castle. And that's pretty much all we're trying to do. Now, I think at this point, I'm going to just bring it up a little tiny bit more. So I think I'm going to start from this one here, okay, which is the one right here on the corner where the floor level is just before our stairs. And we go out by two. Let's go one that way, two that way. And kind of just bring us into this corner here. And then there we go. Let's just fill this level all around here. And there we go, guys. I don't think we really need to do anything else more than that. Um, if you wanted to, could you just extend just a little bit over to that side there? Yeah, I think that's good. And that'll do. We don't really need to do anything more than that. That really is more than enough. Now, one thing I want to do here is I just want to finish up this little corner here as well because the pathway really opens up here. And I just want to just kind of close it off here with a few more little decorative trees and stuff. So I'm going to start with the polished andesite here and I'm going to make a layout first of all in the ground so that where the grass path is here we don't see none of the dirt behind it. So starting I think from this block here so the one behind the upside down stair let's go there. We're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three again so we're going to go three then we're going to go two, two 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 and then one on that corner there something like that and then all we're going to do here is just raise it one more just like that get your gra or grass block or your dirt blocks fill the area in here if you do fill it in with dirt guys just don't forget add a couple of grass blocks so that it grows across Okay, you need silk touch in order to get grass, just in case you guys are unsure. You need to get silk touch enchantment on one of your shovels. Then we're just going to grab our slab, the polish and site slab, and we're going to just put that across the top. There we go, just like that. Okay, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. As you can see, we've got all of our gardens in place now, and we're pretty much done with the layout of the castle. We're going to head over here next episode, and we're going to get in the little bit of the house or building in the corner here. We're going to get in the stairway that goes down and connects into the castle there. We're getting the archery and the wall or the overhang for the wall that comes all the way across here. Um, it's just basically like a shelter and then any other little details that we need to add in we'll either do that next episode or as we go along once we start the interior when we start the interior i say the interior we will be doing all of the walkways and organizing where the rooms are going to be first of all then we'll start doing all of the detail work 
And then we're going to also be doing all of the trees, the garden area out here. I'll show you how to build everything that I've done already, um, including some little trees and bushes over here. We'll have a storage area over in this corner here, which is going to be pretty cool. I'll show you how to decorate up the stables and the houses, add in some bushes and trees and stuff, anything for details. Uh, the the um, blacksmith will be doing the interior in there. This big area here, I think this might be like the barracks area. This is going to be where the soldiers sleep and hang out and stuff like that. There's going to be another room over the back here. I'm not sure what that would be. The castle, we've got bundles of rooms to go in there, including... So far, I have lined up a throne room, a grand hall or a feast hall, a library and a scrib, um, a dungeon. There's going to be king's bedroom. There's going to be armory. Um, so many other rooms. But like I say, guys, if you have any ideas of rooms and stuff like that that you'd like to see in the castle, be sure to let me know. And I think maybe we can even consider digging down so that we can do some things underneath the castle as well. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.